don't forget to check out I Am Bowling powered by Logo Infusion for all your jersey needs. Haley and I have teamed up with them this year and you can head over to their site www.imbowling.com and use code DHBOWL for 20% off your order. Make sure to head over and support them. Their new jerseys look great and you're going to see Haley and I a lot in them this year. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our new video of the Rotogrip UFO Alert. So this is the first chance that Haley and I have had to try this ball out and we wanted to get a video out to you and just give our opinion a little bit. I was incredibly impressed with how much I like this ball. I liked the UFO a lot and I was excited to see what this was going to be like and it's much stronger than I expected. It's really round and continuous because of the big core and I am just really really excited to be able to use this ball on a lot of different conditions I think it's gonna be something I can use on house something I can use on harder stuff I compared it here to my UC2 and you can see the first shot with the UC2 it barely gets through the pins and almost eight tens I went three and two right and then I was dialed in with the UC2 also I think these are gonna be a really good combination both strong and continuous but really smooth and controllable at the same time if that makes sense both gonna be used for me on a wide variety of stuff so I think this is gonna be something that I use as a one-two punch on house longer patterns all sorts of stuff I'm really excited for this ball flipping over to Haley I think she liked it as well we both really love the colors. The shelf appeal of this ball is fantastic. It almost seemed a little too strong for her on the house pattern, where if you go back and watch our dark code video, that one seemed to match up a little better. This just seemed to roll a little early and didn't want to go through the pins quite as well. But I mean, I'm getting picky here. It still looked pretty good. With the strong core and cover combination, you can see it just a couple times doesn't quite get through the pins and that last shot she five sevens and that's just a product of it made her go a little bit farther left than she normally would with this strong of a ball it just sometimes is going to generate that hit for her because she does have it still a higher ball speed she also compared it to her uc2 and you can see right away from that first shot the uc2 is a little bit cleaner a little bit more down lane motion and allows her to get closer to that friction four nines on the second shot and just overall this ball motion was a little bit better at this time for her make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when we upload new content we have a lot of exciting news coming we're hoping to stay open in canada here and upload more videos more consistently we know we were on a bit of a break and Unfortunately, that was out of our control, but we're hoping to be back as much as we can and bring you guys all the new content we are able to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.